people like puzzles and they like to answer clues. And this one is particularly difficult and particularly clever. My name is Patrick Wildgust and I'm the curator of Shandy Hall. We are in the room where Lawrence Stern, the 18th century author, wrote The Life and Opinions of Tristram Shandy, Gentleman, and a Sentimental Journey Through France and Italy. When Lawrence Stern wrote Tristram Shandy, he played around with the way that a novel was constructed. And Torquemada, who wrote the Torquemada puzzle book, and the story Cain's Jawbone is doing exactly the same thing. Torquemada was a crossword puzzle setter and he basically introduced the cryptic crossword to this country. Cain's jawbone, referring to the first murder weapon, is what purports to be an error on the part of the publisher. A story has been put together, bound together, but unfortunately the publisher put them in the wrong order. The author apologises and says that all I can suggest you do is to work out what the correct order is and then it will be revealed the answer to the murder mystery that is also taking part within the narrative. And the hundred pages are littered with references to other works and to other writers. And they all act as either significant clues or red herrings. In 1934 it was bound into a book. The proposal is that this book will be put into a box so each page can be laid out on the table and you can start to match them and that will make it more like a jigsaw puzzle. I have the answer. I am 100% convinced that the answer is correct. Two people successfully solved it in the 1930s, but the solution was not recorded. It can be rewarding both for the point of view of the fact to see how far you get to the solution and it can also be rewarding because it's a jolly good prize. Stern's original idea of playing around with the way this novel is constructed is being replicated by Torquemada. And I thought Unbound, what they're doing is bringing books in a bound version, whereas this one will be available in a box and therefore Unbound. They're a jolly good publishing house as well.